You know who it is. It's your boy. How's it going, everybody? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Dragonic here. Now, I know I've been playing around for the last two episodes, but now... It's finally time to continue the main quest line. No more side quests to do, at least none in this general area. So we're finally going into Sunfall and going to that cathedral where we suspect Horizons, the Project Horizon Zero Dawn happened. Oh, here we go. Here's a cutscene. We're definitely in the right place now. I think I remember this a little bit. They have like gladiatorial style games against machines and shit in here. I wonder how much of that we're gonna have to do. Right. Oh, no, shut up, dog. I'm built different. I'm a savage. They can't do shit to me. If I run up in that ring, it's gonna be because I want to be in that ring. Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, secure it. Can't really see what's going on down there because it's nighttime. But uh, they down there fighting machines. Oh, look at it. Ooh, that looked kind of dope, actually. And I think the fact that it's nighttime made it look even better. Was it nighttime when we walked up in here? If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Okay, I guess we're trying to blend in with these bounty hunters, I guess. I hear the Shadow Conscious are looking for one of their own. Should pay well. Oh, so they hunting another Shadow Carja member. Hmm, okay, that's uh, this could potentially be very interesting. I'm guessing we trying to infiltrate and earn their trust. By the glory of the sun revealed, behold, Radiant Edaman, the one true Sun King, the light in shadow. Hmm. Whose will is light and whose light is law. Really? That's a child. You're a child! By the will of Radiant Edaman, what? the sun glares. What is going on here? Upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. See, this is that shit they was trying to do in um, Dishonored. This is how they was trying to use Emily. But I didn't let that happen. You and I need to chat, Lady Tifa. The green fan, Baron Chalazan. Who are you? He'll be waiting. Time is busy. Right. Huh. Okay. So I guess the person. Hmm. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. But you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel. Gotta see the sun ring from on high. Okay. What happened? It's a little hard trying to keep up. This probably shouldn't be an issue for you guys. But since I'm not, my mic would pick up the TV if I, oh, I go down here, okay. Um, I don't actually hear the uh, sound as it comes out. Like I said, it shouldn't be a problem for you guys because the, um, the audio is synced properly to the gameplay. But, where am I going here? Am I supposed to be going down? Okay, yeah. But I, I hit, I'm listening. Okay, so because 
I my mic would pick up if I had the volume on my TV on. I'm listening through my headphones on the uh, the capture, which is a few seconds behind. Obviously, no. It's very important. I was examining something. Am I just waiting for him to tell me what it is? I've shown you the way in. I guess I'm supposed to be looking through here. Uh, am I fully equipped? I should be alright. Fuck it. First, or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? Your time Bitch, I'm I'm getting tired of this man talking mad shit. Like, like he runs some shit. Nigga, you is not my boss. I will find you and fuck you up. Don't try me, bitch. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hmm. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Yeah, we can get in this door. You know who it is. Open up. Entry authorized. Oh shit. Open up the door. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do. Get me through this door. Analyzing. Primary Open up the damn door. Due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent. Mechanical blockage. failure. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Yes. Open the damn door. Oh no! Oh shit! They're like, what the fuck is this? They have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, right. I'm the only one down here. We ain't got shit. Ah! Got this place myself. Fuck you talking about? All right. So we definitely gonna have to fight some enemies down here at some point. Let's see. We're just gonna kind of take this slow. We found it. Are you really so this is Zero Dawn. Facility diagnostics detect multiple I'm not really surprised, but kind of glad, you know. An entrance hall, perhaps. I'm gonna wait to I scan this until he's done talking. I'm gonna do that anyway. You ain't gotta tell me. Another incident. Uh, this is a reedy one. Um, <laughs> I thought it said Poopovich, but it's Popovich. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Poopovich. Uh, additional support. We appreciate that Zero Dawn. Missly Complicated Project. Frontline. Uh, uh, Polish. Um, oh, Polish. Uh... Security staff, blah, blah, blah. Okay, not important. What about this one over here? It's another reedy one. You need support too. So apparently, whatever was going on here, they needed some help. Ooh, mushrooms. Nice. Open up the door. Let us in, let us in. Hey, where they at though? 
I was told snacks would be provided. Where they at? Soundproofing. Possible to improve soundproofing. Uh, whatever. Uh, where the snacks at? I was told snacks would be provided. Restock or else. Uh, taking that to mean they ain't got no more snacks. Dang it. Oh, what is this in here? Are these the snacks? No, not exactly, but I'll take it. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message. Is there a... Okay, that door doesn't come open. All right. Hmm. How did you know that? Uh, you probably seen like places like this in other of these ruins Dawn. and shit. I am General Harris. Oh, we finally get an explanation of what Zero Dawn was. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. The Zero Dawn is USA. USA. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh plague. If is that Ronald Reagan? I didn't. I didn't hear what his name was. I went not attention. Uh, General Harry's. That's not the outfit I'm wearing. Not a super weapons program. <laughs> Why did they change my clothes for this scene? Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh plague. Okay. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on planet reduced to a barren state. Okay, but clearly it wasn't. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had that yet Right, but if the codes, we could shut them all down, the entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. What? At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. But we clearly survived longer than that, and the machines are still replicating. Fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million feral robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? Oh, so you're an asshole. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The mm. hope of zero dawn is that something new might come. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. So, we, you're not going to get an explanation? That was a huge tease. Please, wait. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. They said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow... How Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Right. How she did it. Cause maybe she didn't actually stop it, they got and instead it's just nice. prolonged it. Stop you from learning the truth. Spread out. If it moves, kill it. What is this place? Ah oh, shit. Two. Okay, but I don't, I don't know which direction I should go in first. Cause I see this little hole over here. And I kind of hope there's something in it. And I hope I'm not, like, skipping stuff by, by doing this. Do I have a map? Okay. So we came through here. I guess that 
vent was just a, a stealth way around? What's this? Ron Felder? National heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57. That went nowhere real slow, and you have to get somewhere real fast. Okay. And do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? No the whole generation ship concept is is not gonna happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon. Why, why did I start swimming there? I need so this guy's a, a leader so I can't fucking I couldn't silent strike him oh, okay. ah, I needed another upgrade to silent strike that guy I hope y'all are getting all this information cuz I'm not Hit him in the head, hit him in the head. Where'd he go? Sneak up! Oh. Uh, we got a little bit of health here. Okay, we sneak up to him through the thing. Get that critical strike down. Uh, shock arrows will probably work on this guy, right? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Right between his legs, really. There you go. Yeah, I know it hurt. There we go. There we go. Ah! Damn, I just stabbed him right in the dick. Um, okay, so I guess I killed everybody. Are there any more data points in this general area? I don't need that anymore. Oh, that's the other, uh, that's where I came from. Okay, okay, okay. Can I get up there? Get through. Oh, okay. You have previously worked for Faro Automated Systems. Brad. On the chariot line. And that? I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought... About time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt every day since. Since, uh. Would you like to take a moment? No, no, no. I, I just. I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of Okay, so I guess he was. Okay, so I'm guessing he was one of the uh, the scientists that helped build the robots. Travis Tate. So mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelation. Okay. Now I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and the end times. fire that on yeah. kind of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which smoke a tobacco cigarette sorry darling my taste run classic compliments your team track me down been a price on my head 18 months mm. now sterling malky was me don't mind admitting been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty the too. Sterling Malky. but i kept the zigging to their zag how'd you finger me i believe dr sobek listed you as an alpha candidate priority snatch and grab Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hmm. Hey, I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. Oh, he, this guy's a security consultant. Okay. Blood coffee? Conflict cappuccinos? Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. 
Okay. What about this one? Tom Peach, PhD, molecular and cellular biology. to find in here I'm gonna look around for a hot second and try and see if I can find something wait did I already that was the thing with Suzanne Alpert environmental scientist doctor I'm sorry, I don't think I read I did this one yet I think the one over there was the one I did what earlier Okay, so this is going to be an information-heavy episode, so I hope you guys don't mind it. Just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor, I still dream about it after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. The imagery of this is amazing, though. Like, I feel like I was almost there, like, seeing it as they saw it. Oh, so they're not going to... See, they keep they keep making it sound like they finna explain what Zero Dawn actually is, but then they and then they don't. Okay, counselor guidelines. Candidate must be allowed to ask questions and be given necessary time to fully absorb the information they have received. It's important to be aware that candidates have just been exposed to triggers for severe mental and emotional trauma. Do not assume silence or outward calmness indicates acceptance okay so these are just the guidelines for the um the counselors doing the interviews okay still interesting as hell though uh oof. i'm probably gonna go back and pause it while editing and read that whole thing you guys can pause it if you wanted to read it but uh i got a show to do here <laughs> so i'm gonna climb up here see what's up here can we go any further what was the point of this ladder? Can I go? Oh, there it is. It just wouldn't climb all the way up to the top for some reason. All right. Look like there might be a few more data points up here. Here's another one. Interview Dr. Hughes Way. I don't understand why I was brought here. Art history and museum studies. Hmm. Very strange. And General Harris, what was he talking about? The robot swarm. Oh, I think I, I think I'm starting to understand what Project Zero Dawn was. I'm gonna wait until they stop talking to explain it. That's that's sad. Do you know why I am here? It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. Mm -hmm, I am mm -hmm. an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Mm-hmm. I'm assuming Project Zero Dawn is like this Noah's Ark type thing. 
where they're gathering people of a bunch of various skill sets and backgrounds and people who can basically preserve the information and technology of the human race. That's what I'm assuming Project Zero Dawn is. Or at the very least, something along those lines. Because it's, it's got to it's gotta be more than just that. Because the robots were projected to destroy all life on Earth. And clearly, it, in a matter of 16 months, and it's been thousands of years, I'm pretty sure. If my memory serves me correct. So, clearly, there was more going on but that Noah's Ark theory is definitely definitely part part of it you know what I'm saying okay I'm not missing nothing am I I hope not man I want every little bit of the lore okay Oh, huh. okay. Maybe we'll now get some real explanations. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? Mm. The aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. Okay, but what stops the robots from just eating that too? And bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, so the world actually did end, but they just rebuilt it, I guess. To reconstitute the biosphere, an immortal guardian devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia, Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. Huh. She will need to be surrounded and okay. empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now, these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll oh. have all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest okay. initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast Okay. Them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build... But, but that didn't happen because the robots are still active. Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. I get it now. To the regreening of the earth from cryopreserved seed stocks, to rewilding the earth with animal life, and then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities okay. around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they were learning. See, see, that's what I was talking about. With the Noah's Ark thing, that's Apollo. How not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia. We can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Okay. Okay. I 
get it. I get it now. All of the pieces coming together. Okay. I'm gonna just wait here until they finish talking. I don't want to skip nothing by accident. Why did Hades send it? If it was part of Gaia. Right. How did Hades was part of Gaia. Why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the Archive of Knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Hmm. How's it going everybody? It's your boy Dragon from the editing room. One thing I noticed while editing that I didn't notice while I was playing is when Apollo showed up, they showed the focus on the side of that guy's head. And I think that's the reason why our focus can like scan the machines and understand what things were and what things are. So I think all of the information from Apollo is stored within the focuses. So when she asked um, what happened to the internet, the, um, the archive from Apollo, I think it's actually in like a part of the focus. And that's how she's been um, seeing things through walls and understanding what things are and the components of the machines and all that shit. I just wanted to throw that little interesting tidbit in there. So um, I'll let y'all get back to the video because it's almost over anyway. Peace. Hmm, interesting. Okay, okay. You know, I don't want this episode to be a million billion years long. So I'm going to end it here because I don't think I'm going to have a whole lot of content to cut out. So in an attempt to make this not the longest episode ever, I'm going to end it here. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that fun YouTube shit. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Twitch at DragonicYT. The link to those should be in the description box down below. Um, this stuff will be continued in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace.